One of the things I love here on the farm is that we're always trying new strategies to make things more efficient for all the farmers. Uh, so that the growing is a little more efficient, but also so that the picking is more efficient on our bodies and on the plant. So here we're going to look at a strategy that we're using, which is relatively new to us, using a Hordanova netting. So it's this plastic netting that we've had for about a decade now, and it creates this wall of cucumbers. And the way in which we use it is we hang it when the plants are really small, and then we take each one of these leaders and we weave them through the netting. And we just weave back and forth like this. And you do this every time the plant grows and starts to, to wiggle down, you can just move it and twist it around and put it in the netting. And then you can see it just hangs tight right up against this, creating this wall of cucumbers so that they're not sprawling all over the place like they naturally want to. Now the second thing we do is once we get them up against this wall, we also want to make sure it's manageable and that we're producing the most fruit. So we actually sacrifice some of the vegetative growth to instigate more flower and fruit production. On our farm, we're always trialing new things. We're always comparing the things we love with the new things that are coming out. The new disease resistances, pest resistances, and those varieties that do best with natural resilience. And so to do that, we work with some great partners, whether it's public universities, specifically uh, the professor Michael Mazurik, who's working on cucumbers, and other companies like Vitalis Organic Seeds or, or Bayo Seeds, larger seed breeder producers that are creating some of the most common and delicious cucumbers on the market. Well, thanks for learning a little bit about cucumbers uh, today. And there's so much more to learn on the farm, and we're really excited to share it all with you, whether it's related to our animals, our waste stream, or all the vegetable, flower, and herb production. So stay tuned, check us out on our website, stonebarncenter.org. Come visit us, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel.